is Blazer. It's one of the oldest lamp posts in Kuala Lumpur. I wonder if this chair is actually a oh, real no. the real one from the 1960s. Say hello to the guys behind me. <laughs> it's time for a trip. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring the city centre in Kuala Lumpur. We're going to be checking out a really famous tea that you guys have been asking us to try. Can you guess what it is? And then after that we're going to be exploring Chinatown and some other really cool places. What it does is take you back on a journey through old school Chinatown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's go try this tea. in the centre of Kuala Lumpur. It's about a 20 minute walk away from Chinatown, which is where we're going after. So we've heard amazing things about this tea. Apparently it's really famous here. All the locals drink it in the morning for breakfast and they make it in a really special and different way, which is what makes it famous. So we're gonna go check that out and yeah, try it. We love tea, we're British so. We found it, this is the famous uh, tea place, it's called Famous Tea Cutting and yeah, it's a place that's really for, full of uh, locals so it must be, must be a good tea, we're really excited to try it. Famous Tea Cutting, it's good. Um, we need to figure out where to order it from. Hello, hello, where do we order the tea? Uh, order tea? Order tea? Tea. <laughs> where are you from? England? England, yeah. England. We love tea. <laughs> British. English. Yeah. Uh, tea, yeah. Tea? Yeah. Okay. We have to sit down. Yeah, please sit down. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, two pulled tea. Okay, thank you. 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 <laughs> that was confusing. Yeah. I, that guy that was speaking to us, I don't think he worked it, did he? He was just saying hello. <laughs> I think he was just asking where we were from. Yeah. You find that like, when you go places, people just start talking to you, you're not sure if they work. They're just being friendly just most of the time, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, quick. Say, is it hot or cold? So this place is called ABC Bistro Cafe in Kuala Lumpur City Centre and they sell the famous gold tea. Thank you very much. Why is the tea so famous? Famous tea. Cutting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice, it's like fluffy. Right, this is the tea. Let's see. Famous. I hope this is the right place. Because they need it Oh, it's really sweet. I did read that it's got condensed milk in it, which is your favourite. Sweet, that's yeah. why I like it, because it tastes like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like it, it's really nice. Very good, I like it. Nice. Very sweet, very nice. Cheers, Malaysia. Nice tea. Te tarik means pulled tea in Malaysian. So it's a strong, milky tea. It's made with condensed milk and it's repeatedly poured from one cup to the other, which is called pulling. So basically, what that does is it makes it more rich and frothy. So it kind of like changes the taste of it. So my tea is okay. It's really frothy, isn't it? So that's what the pulling of the tea does. It makes it all frothy. It's good. Mm, that's good. Good. It's very sweet, but nice. Normally I don't like my tea too sweet, but it's kind of like a different taste. It's got the condensed milk in it, hasn't it? Yeah. I really yeah, like it. It's really nice. I like that. Now yeah. we can say we tried the famous cool tea in Malaysia. I really, really like it. This is like the perfect tea for me because I love a sweet tea. So you can show us how it's made. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. So what does it do? It makes it frothy. Yeah. Oh yeah, look how frothy it's gone. That's so cool. They look good. <laughs> what, 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 sir? Ah, what's that? The tea. 
Famous Degadi, number one. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Another one. Thank you. Check that out. That looks good. That's extra fluffy, that, that one. It's the best one. That's fluffy. That looks good. Is that for you? Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So the guy just let me actually go behind the counter so I could film them making the tea, which is so cool. And then he handed me a a new one, a coffee one. Yeah. I think, I think they've, uh, they've given us this third one, so we're going to be nice and happy in here quite the way. But yeah, if anyone's in Kuala Lumpur, check this place out. Say hello to the guys behind me. <laughs> Hello! Now we're doing something else. What are you making? What's that? Some dough. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> what, is, what are you making? Maybe it's a roti? Roti? A chan. Oh, roti? It's roti. Yeah, it's roti. Ah, I thought so. So I'm not sure if it was 3RM per coffee or 2RM per coffee because they did make a third one so the so we could video it and that kind of stuff. I don't know if they charged us for it, so I cannot say for certain, but still 2RM, 3RM, not much difference in that. Very cheap, very reasonable price. And a really nice sweet tea, so if you're in Kuala Lumpur, be sure to check it out. And now let's take a walk to Chinatown. So we've made it here to Kwai Chai Hong. It's basically an alleyway with loads of murals on the wall, cool street art. And basically it's a really cool place to take pictures. It's kind of like an Instagram place where you come and yeah, take pictures and videos. So we can check it out and see what, what, what's going on. What's it, has it got? It's like it's a love lock yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, I we there's like there's one in Amsterdam, isn't there? Like that. But it's on a chair. There's not many on it. <laughs> Maybe it's new. So Kwai Chai Hong is actually based in 1960s old Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur. So basically what it does is take you back on a journey through old school Chinatown back in the 60s. So it's a really <laughs> interesting bit of history as well. worthy picture then come here because there's loads of photo opportunities it's quite small it's a small little place inside of chinatown um, but it's definitely worth coming if you're here so it isn't just all the paintings on the wall and the decorations and um, there are actually some bars and restaurants if you wanted to stop by and have a little drink as well which is nice so you got the woman smoking a fag with money hanging out of her hand i think she wants to give me some of that money a bit of washing in the 60s these kids have a great time. And this, he's the sort of barber that I would trust. Yeah. Look at his face. I trust that face. <laughs> I wonder if this chair is actually a oh, real, a real one from the 1960s Chinatown. Probably is. Might be from his shop. He might yeah. Be a famous hairdresser. Maybe. If anyone knows if any of these people are actually real people, then let us know. So we've just come across this sign in this little bit in Chinatown. So it's one of the oldest lamp posts in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> the one next to you? This one, I guess. It does look pretty old, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's so cool. It's probably, well, I'm guessing it's, they've not like moved it. It must have been here the whole time. <laughs> I wonder how old it is. Maybe we should have a look and we'll put it on the screen. These murals all have uh, the QR code next to them. 
so you can see more information about what it's about. So I'm just going to see what this one's about. I'm guessing it might be about Tiger Beer. Oh, knife sharpening uncle. When knives were invented, naturally, naturally, ways to sharpen the knives came along too, and thus we witnessed the birth and evolution of the knife sharpening business in Malaysia. Interesting fact. Interesting so fact. So these things are like all over this little street that we've just showed you. A little bit of history. So we had a really good time this afternoon out in Chinatown area in Kuala Lumpur. Next time we're going to be checking out the famous Petronas Towers. So we want to see what all the fuss is about there. So if it interests you, click that subscribe button and click like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, click on this one next. See you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Tyne Soap and we are in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia.